isotope of hydrogen in a thermonuclear blast. Three times as heavy as normal, but not stable, it won't last. The nucleus, called a triton, holds two neutrons in its sway. That's one neutron too many. So whoops, nuclear decay. The nucleus spits out a beta ray, an electron to you and me. And a neutron becomes a proton then, and you've got helium-3. It's tritium, it's tritium, a half-life of 12 years. It's tritium, it's tritium, made by the hand of clever man, without us nearly all disappears. Now there are those who are trying to use tritium as a fuel to make some of our electric power and help the climate to cool. They fuse it with some deuterium, but there's the problem you see. To make them fuse together takes a whole lot of energy. In fact, it takes more energy than the fusion reaction gives off. We haven't hit the break-even point, it's still a long way off. It's tritium, it's tritium. No tokamaks or polywells yet thrive. It's tritium, it's tritium. And cold fusion's bunk, for now we're sunk. It's only hope that keeps this stream alive. But there's one place where the pressure and heat combine to give more. The center of an atomic blast is hotter than the sun's core. And there's where nuclear fusion pays back a hundredfold. Turns A-bombs into H-bombs to flatten countries untold. Don't try to build one in your garage, the plans are still classified. They might not even use tritium, but lithium-6 deuteride. It's tritium, it's tritium, the heaviest hydrogen there is. It's tritium, it's tritium, in bombs galore, oh never more can any nation say, none of my peers.